Welcome to another episode of Peacoat in the Morning, starring yours truly, Pico Slim, on the corner of Vine and Nat and B, minding my business, just like how y'all should be doing the same. Now, today we're going to be talking about truth to power. What really happens when you speak truth to power and what could be the consequences behind it? You know what I mean? I did that recently and I'm going to tell y'all about my personal experience behind it. Other people are going to be upset. Whatever. Notice I'm wearing this right here, Hebrew University. You know what I mean? I am a true Hebrew Israelite. Want to throw that down there first and foremost. A descendant of Jacob. We also going to talk about the name games that they playing. You notice I just said I'm a descendant of Jacob. Well, they'll try to say that I'm African American, black, Negro, nigga, all that other stuff. Nah, nah. Descendant of Jacob. We need one name. One name so we can start getting rights for ourselves. Right now, if a AD, what is it, ADA, if an ADA person is assaulted, which is a disabled person, if they are assaulted and any slurs are said or anything like that, it's a hate crime. Right now, if an Asian person is assaulted and any words are said like that, it is a hate crime. Right now, if a black person is assaulted and if any words are said like that, it's just assault and battery. And we got to figure out how we can get our own hate crime, how we can get our own thing that's protecting us against other people trying to hurt us. A lot of people would say it's the police that's doing it to different people and stuff like that, which is granted. The police, they doing what they do. They doing what they do. You know what I mean? They doing what they've done in their history. The police was made, their original names were slave catchers. They had badges and everything. That has just evolved into what we got today. So we need to get up off that. We know what their job is supposed to do. We already know what their job is supposed to do. Our job is to do what we're supposed to do. Because if we do what we're supposed to do, we can stay out of those situations. You know what I mean? And sometimes I know the situation is unavoidable. It's gonna happen. There's nothing that you can do about it. But we gotta avoid those situations and make our own new situation. You know, people always say you gotta buy land, you gotta have a house, you gotta do this, that, and the third. And when people say that, it turns other people off because they don't see themselves actually being able to do that. And since they don't see themselves actually being able to do that, they automatically go with what they know, which is crazy. You know what I mean? It's okay. You gotta think bigger than what you are. A lot of people just think really, 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 really small. And they'll be happy with those small little victories. But no, you gotta think way bigger than that. I'm a big thinker, I'm a big picture thinker. Everybody know that about me. You know what I mean? I'm a very big picture thinker. And when I be looking at everything and how the world is going and stuff, people don't lost their mind. People don't lost their mind. You can't even voice your opinion anymore. Anybody who voices their opinion quickly gets ostracized. They hit them with the Jim Crow treatment, pretty much. Like they hitting these people who ain't get them. You feel me? The Jim Crow treatment. A word, you ain't get them. You ain't got no job, B. We taking our guaranteed money that we giving you. Now you either going to comply or you gonna stand on your word, stand on your faith, stand on your integrity. I'm a man of integrity. At the end of the day, when my story is written, when the book is closed and everything, they gonna say I live like Malcolm. They gonna say I did what Ali would've did. They gonna say that. A lot of y'all be reading these books and be trying to say that y'all like people and this, that, and the third, or y'all had that type of spirit, what I would have did exactly what he did. Well, guess what? In your generation, there was an opportunity for you to prove it. And instead of prove it, you did exactly what everybody else did in that time. And I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. But you had a chance to do with your, uh, not necessarily, your role models. You had a chance to do what your role models did. You had a chance to elevate your people like your role models. Those people I just spoke about will be spoken about for years. 
for years, centuries. You know what I mean? A lot of decades. I know a lot of decades. That's how people gonna speak about me at them. That's how they gonna speak about me. They're gonna say he had the integrity not to do something. The people try to force him to do something, and he said no. He said no. These people are no better than Harvey Weinstein. No better than Harvey Weinstein. No better than Harvey Weinstein. Get you with the Umar. Because this is what they do. Harvey Weinstein stuff. It's either you gonna give me a shot or you ain't making this movie. It's either you gonna take the or you ain't making this money no more. But guess what? They didn't count on people being smart. They didn't count on people seeing they work. They didn't count on people knowing how to negotiate for themselves. They think that we all are stupid, that we all are playing the 10 cent game. This is what I mean by the 10 cent game. You work extra hard year after year after year and all they give you is 10 cent. 20 cent. You gotta fight and nickel and dime. Like legit nickel and dime. Think about that. Not Grant and Franklin. You nickel and dime. I would rather be Grant and Franklin. But y'all nickel and diamond. I'm trying to get on a bigger scale. If they want to keep you on a smaller scale and contain all of your skills and milk your energy. Because yes, we are electric beings. And they trying to milk your energy. Right now, it's raining outside. And this video ran over way more than what it was supposed to run over. And I probably won't do no edits to this motherfucker. None.